Dear listeners, welcome to Stratcom Talks. It's great to be sharing these moments with you today. We are with Mr. Mustafa John Koot today. Let me introduce him to you. He graduated from Marmara University, Faculty of Communication. Currently, he teaches at Guma Shahain University, Faculty of Communication. Welcome to our program, Mr. Mustafa. It is good to have you in our program. We are going to discuss social participation today. Thank you. It's an honor. In society, what is social participation? Basically, social participation can be defined as a person's involvement in communal activities. However, this definition is insufficient to explain the concept. For a more comprehensive explanation, let's first examine the concept of participation. We are using the term of participate, not join, not attend, because we are trying to emphasize to take part, actively involvement, doing something, not just standing there. Yes, we are living in society, we are going shopping, going to our job, but the point of the concept is not the physical presence. Just imagine, you are going to a party, but nobody introduces you. You are not talking with anyone. Yes. You are there, but not part of it. On the other hand, we humans are indeed social creatures. But what is meant by sociability here? Sociability means that the individual is active in social process, knowingly and willingly, not because they have to be there. So, with an in-depth look, aspirations, desires, interests, and even political ten- tendencies come to life with social participation at the social level. Therefore, we must say that social participation is also important for subfields of social science, such as sociology, psychology, and politics. It is a very rich subject, and it is a necessity. So why is social participation important? What happens if you don't have human interaction? I mean, is it possible that one can live without social participation? As I mentioned, the concept is easy to explain. But social participation offers such a broad scope that it cannot be squeezed in a specific conceptual or practical framework. Every moment of being active in the public sphere refers to participation directly. Revelations, social movements, weddings, funerals, parties, every situation we face include communication and interaction, essentially an act of social participation. Therefore, what, why, and how questions about participation ultimately the focus of every field of social science. In addition to its scientific importance, social participation is also important for individuals to develop social commitment and live their lives more happily. In community life, it's seen as a critical element for well-being. Understanding the world around, explaining the problems, establishing cooperation, and even arguing is a social need. Of course, that is for sure. And if this need goes unanswered, it shows us the portrait of an individual who is alone, estranged from his values and beliefs, seeking happiness in his own limited world. Along with the advantage it provides to the individual, social participation has become one of the main elements at the center of strategies of public, private, and third sector institutions. Participation can be considered as an activity that produces effective solutions, including stakeholders, in solving administrative programs and a local and national basis, and ultimately empowers the society. Therefore, it can be concluded that social participation is an effective phenomenon on the activities of all institutions and organizations. Yes, it seems like it is very effective. In addition, all of this, social participation also facilitates the participation of local communities in decision-making process and the expression of their opinions, provides social cohesion by gathering people around common goals and interests, improve public services in a more effective and efficient way that suits people's needs, increase individuals' political influence and self-respect, by connecting individuals' strengths to society and provides resistance against problems, 
In addition to making individuals trust themselves and other people, it also provides them with new abilities and increases their quality of life. And lastly, increases the legitimacy and traceability of democratic institutions. So many positive outcomes. I can see why. What are the fields of activity of social participation? We can divide the activity areas of social participation into five. They are voluntary participation, socialization, benevolent behavior, traditional political participation, and political protest behavior. Voluntary organizations and groups are extremely important for both individuals and social life. Through them, individuals feel themselves as a part of society and gain sense of identity. Volunteer participation brings society together by establishing connections through social network and build trust in a common purpose among individuals. These voluntary activities may be local activities for social welfare, where state service cannot reach, but at the same time, those activities may concern the world society at the national level. Very nice. The important point here is not the scope of the activity, but the voluntary participation of the individuals in this activity. The second area where activities for social participation take place is voluntary relations with the social environment. The concept is the relations established on a completely voluntary basis. Examples of the activities are meeting new people, visiting nursing homes, or joining groups or clubs with the people with similar interests. As in every social participation activity, The principle of mutual benefit operates in the voluntary social relations established. In the social relations, both the voluntary participant and the people he interacts has a relationship with various benefits, such as inter- entertainment, happiness, and satisfaction. All works together in harmony. Okay. Society can survive as long as the individuals help each other. In large-scale industrialized societies, these benevolent acts are not carried out by the individuals, but through governmental charities, welfare groups, or religious institutions. But in small-scale or rural societies, these benevolent acts are provided by personal support from family, friends, and neighbors. Regardless of the scale and economic structure of the society, these benevolent behaviors are important activities for the development of the society. The last two areas, I mean traditional political participation and political protest behavior, are seen as the intersections of social participation and political participation. Yes. Mr. Mustafa, I understand. While individuals are engaged in activities for political participation in these areas, they also act together with other members of the society. They talk about politics and the problems in their environment. They come together to organize protests in formal or informal groups in order to ensure that decisions are made to solve problems. Although these activities related to political participation in purpose, at the same time they are instrumentally social participation activities. Could you give information about the current status of social participation research? In our narrow and outdated field of research, we often try to explain the causes, consequences, and effects of the exclusion or isolation of elderly, disabled, refugee, or other disadvantaged individuals. But the concept promises us much more. Today, the main, of, the main point of the social participation research is digital technology and media. Disadvantaged individuals have been replaced by young people, and people will consciously refuse the socialization. It is so dramatic in a way. The main problem of those who work on this issue is no longer the effect, reason, or result of social participation, but why the level of social participation has decreased. The change of communication and new ways to coming together have, mo- have moved participation from street to virtual world today. Today's main research topics, difference of virtual worlds and street, the sincerity of digital participation in social society, bringing young people into social life, and predicting how current and future events, such as pandemics, technopolis, technopolis or isolated lives, will affect social life and s- structures. Digital media provides access to large audiences, open to access structure, low cost, impact potential, and the freedom offers great chance to communication and interaction. So true. 
you can reach millions of people with digital media. Theoretically, these new environments have become a new public sphere for social participation. Like I said, this situation may be seen as a valuable opportunity, but it has also pushed researchers working on the measure uh, the level of participation in these environments. After all, we don't currently have the tools to measure exact level of the participation through digital media. Even we can make measurements with different methods, it isn't possible to interpret the result through the traditional social participation in understanding. Although there are debates in the literature, my personal opinion is that the participation in digital media has not decreased but changed. Finally, for another paradigm in sociology of immig- immigration, waves of asylum seekers have taken social participation research to a different level. Integration, values education and social conflict issues have also become worth the examining under the title of social participation. What a great way to use this to help those in need. Okay. Well, it is nice information and it is so enlightening. Mr. Mustafa, how does social participation become sustainable? The quality of participation is of great importance for individuals to continue to be an active. Individuals believe that they make a difference. Their contribution is valuable. They enjoy this experience. Continuous access to resources, appropriate supports and opportunities are effective in maintain, maintaining individual's participation. But they are not sufficient factors. The most important reason for the individual is the quality of this participation. Yes. The reasons why individuals stop their participations are there are maybe vital factors such as moving or not being able to allocate enough, enough time or external factors arising from negative experiences during participation. Also, uh, in, some case, in some cases, negative situation may occur such as participants being under uh, heavy, heavy responsibilities or feeling excluded in groups or become elitist. Likewise, situations like these cause individuals to stop their participation in activities. We all have similar experiences. Finally, digital media offers both advantages and disadvantages for the sustainability of participation. While digital media provides the opportunity to participate in social activities easily, even through the virtual world, it also encourages easy escape for, uh, from social participation activities due to It's non-responsible, uh, anonymous nature. We get used to the term virtual world. Well, what will studies on social participation bring us? This is actually a multi-layered question. Existing studies provide data and solutions to the private, public and third sectors in areas such as uh, social policies, elderly or patient care, child development for years and years. More comprehensive studies, on the other hand, make important contribu- contributions to creating an intervent so- society that increases the value of human relations, social capital, and social inclusion. For example, for multicultural countries, these studies can offer solutions to social polarization and integration problems. Sounds very promising. And finally, future studies. These studies will provide uh, valuable insights into the future and the prediction of the changing social st- structure. On the one hand, we have isolated individuals and new generation. And believe me, day by day, it will be harder to understand them. Thank you very much for joining us today. We had a great talk. Mr. Mustafa, it was so eye-opening for me and for our audience. We really enjoyed our interview. Thank you very much. Dear Stratcom listeners, it is time to say goodbye. We had a nice talk with Mr. Mustafa John Coote about social participation. Have a wonderful day. We will meet again soon.